Shane Sparks is an award-winning choreographer, well known for his work on the movie You Got Served, as well as TV shows such as So You Think You Can Dance and MTV's America's Best Dance Crew. Recently, we spoke with Shane while on location for the upcoming TV show Latin Flavor, created by longtime friend Brenda Russell Baca of BSR Events and Entertainment and her daughter Adriana as a positive outlet for kids. In addition to speaking about his involvement with the show, he also shed light on his recent legal troubles and the media frenzy which accompanied it. This is a serious topic, but we wanted to give Shane the opportunity to share his side of the story. Here, for the first time on video, Shane does just that in this exclusive interview with Teens Wanna Know. Now, how did you get involved with Latin Flavor? Well, actually, me and Brenda, Brenda came to me with this with her daughter, like, about seven years ago. So it's been a minute, but, you know, things happened. Yeah. So then she came back to me, and she had a different um, format. So this year, we basically figured out a way to put it together. We got a lot of people interested, and they love the concept. As soon as we say it's cooking with nutritional food, it's dancing with kids, interviews with celebrities, it was a wrap. So everybody's involved. I love it, this is what I do. I've been raising yeah. kids since I moved out to LA, so this is what I love to do, and I think we have we to change the future for the up and coming kids, giving them more jobs, giving them more opportunities, something to look forward to, you yeah. know what I mean? We've been here since like nine o'clock this morning, and these kids have been rap battling, dance battling, yeah. singing, acting a fool, man. And if you could keep a kid smiling, you're, you're, you're basically setting them up for the future. So if you do that, if you keep these kids laughing and keeping them smiling and keeping good energy around, they're gonna grow up and then they're gonna show that to them to their kids. So right now we're setting a tone for their future, not only for dance, but for their family that they're gonna have. They're gonna grow up to be moms and, and dads. So the joy that they get here and they see how we treat them and how we try to give them a better future, they're gonna grow up with that same responsibility and then they're gonna have that to look back on and then they're gonna treat kids their age but later the same way you know what i mean so that i just get a big satisfaction out of seeing people go from kids to adults and having them come up to me and say i used to take your class what you told me when i was younger it set me up for right now and now i dance i choreograph i'm in movies i sing or i have a kid now or i got married you know what i mean you kept me out of trouble so i love seeing people come up to me and say you changed my life or you made my life childhood very very beautiful because i was able to come to you to escape so it's a lot, man. I have a lot to say, man. I've been in this business for a long time yeah. and I love what I do. And, you know, I just want to change the world and make it better. That's it. All right. And now you've had a lot of success in your career, but recently you faced some adversity. Yes. Now, anyone who Googles your name can find out a little bit about the case. But I wanted to give you an opportunity to tell your side of the story. Well, you know what? I'll get into it a little bit because I never really did anything vocally. I've done some yeah. press and I've done a couple of like letters or whatever. But what you have to realize is I moved to Cincinnati when I was like 21, 22 years old. OK. You you go to LA, you meet people, I was dancing out here, girls are attracted to that, I'm attracted to girls. I meet a girl, we were fine. This is what not a lot of people don't know, I'm just gonna say this, and I never said this. When a parent comes to my house with her daughter and I'm not there because she's dating a roommate of mine, when I come home, I don't know what's going on. So by us being at the house together, that's how we actually really met, met you know? But before that, I would see her at the studio. Me hanging out with her led to us having a little relationship, okay? Mm -hmm. I never thought anything about it. It was just like we kicked it, we chilled, whatever. It went on for a couple months. Yeah. 15 years later, she wants to say that I took advantage of her. And that didn't make sense to me because her mom was in the room. Mm -hmm. They got out of the house together. They drove home together. Mm -hmm. When do you tell somebody that you were raped? When do you tell somebody that you were taken advantage of? as soon as it happens, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'll say maybe a day later, maybe you're traumatized or whatever, but do you wait 15 years later, you never tell a doctor, a friend, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a parent, a mother, dad, whatever, you never say anything about it. Then I'm on TV, came out here alone, you know, after the boys left, I was out here alone. No money, no job, no nothing. I worked my butt off. I started from the bottom, yeah. now I'm here. <laughs> now I'm just playing, but I'm serious. Yeah. I worked my butt off for years, and she saw me work my butt off, so to get where I was at, it's not easy. Not a lot of choreographers get to the level that I was at. Of course. So for me to get there, and then one person come out of the woodworks, come out of the blue, and say something like that, after all I do is work with kids. All I do is change lives. All I do is give my time, travel the world, go to birthdays, go to hospitals, all I yeah. do. And then for that to be all shattered because somebody's life is kind of like not going the way they want it to, so they want to come into my life and disrupt it, and then walk away scot-free and nothing, they have nothing happen to them, but I lose everything, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a lot to this story, and one day I'm gonna sit down and be able to tell this whole story, but I'm just giving y'all a little taste of what the media never put out there. They said it was six girls. It was only one girl. Mm -hmm. When this whole thing got dropped, every every case, every um everything got dropped except yeah. for she was under 18. 
That's the only thing that I got in trouble for is because she was under 18 and because I admitted to being with her. I never ran from it. When they called me, I called them back. I'm like, what's going on? I admitted yeah. to it. But it's, the fact that I admitted to it was basically saying everything that she said was true. But after yeah. the case went for like a year, they realized what was really going on. They dropped everything. I got, I got a, um, like I said, I got sex with a minor. That was all I got, you know? Yeah. So I had probation. I had to deal with all that stuff. But other than that, dude, now I'm building my career. Everything is good. I yeah. still get a few parents that I got to deal with. You know, some of them, they're, they're, they're like, I don't want to do what you're saying. I had one parent say, um, <laughs> my kids are going to be there. What is he going to do to my kid? <laughs> Wow. I was like, really? That, 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 that's what you get from the media? Be careful of the media. I don't know who you are or what you are or whatever you're trying to do. Be careful because they will take best friends and turn them against each other. You got to watch that. If you know somebody, judge them based off of what you know and what you've been through, not what the media say, because they're here to sensationalize everything. Yeah. They're there to take everything to another level for you to basically hate this person. you know. And then when it all gets cleared up and everything's yeah. cool, they're not there to fix it. They're not there to help you out. Nobody came to my rescue after, oh, there was one girl and it was no rape and um you know they dropped everything except for sex with a minor they never came back and blew that up but they blew everything up oh he like oh, i'm yeah. a pedophile like i'm this i'm like really like for real like dude really i grew up with two sisters i would never disrespect a female never in my life mm -hmm. you know what i mean so you know it may be a little angry but now it's been oh it's been about four years I'm back. My energy is good. I will never lose my talent. That's something they can never take from me, and that's why we're here. Latin, Latin Flavor is about to be the hottest dance show for kids ever created, and my future is just going to get bigger, and what don't kill you make you stronger. So what's the biggest lesson you've learned? The biggest lesson I've learned is you have to be careful of what you say and what you do in the process of becoming who you're going to become. Yeah. Because it can come back on you. You know what I mean? Oh, be yeah. careful of the people that you tell your stories to and the people that you open up and the people you trust. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Shane Sparks, and you're watching Teens Wanna Know. Latin flavor for life, baby. <laughs>